Hi everybody. Well today, from the previous video you saw on the YouTube channel, I bought myself a new camera to see what these these other cameras were like. So anyway, this is what I got today. A 4K one spot action camera. Now I've done some tests and I found out that the box on the back it says all the specifications but to be fair it's wank so ignore what the box is the box tells fucking sh a lot of fucking lies anyway this one's a spot action camera 4k and when you open it up you get these little bits you get cloth USB charger, you get these, some more bits, some more bits and pieces, some more bits, these are all the accessory packs you get, bike accessory for the bike, another mount for helmet, some more bits, some more bits, and some more bits. More bits you can shake a stick at. Anyway, we're not here to check this out. We're here to, to a review on this sport action camera. Now, from my previous YouTube video, that was a bit like a GoPro, but it just didn't have the wow factor like I thought it would have, would have had. So anyway, this one, This one is a 4K ultra high definition one. In fact, if I just turn that on a minute so you can see. You can get a welcome message. See? And there's your camera. Well, can you see the front lens there? Got some information there, if you can see it carefully. This one has got built-in Wi-Fi it's the full battery this one is a 4K one but it's a lot better this one compared to a GoPro this only cost me £31.60 believe it or not and for that price it's got half the stuff cram packed into it than a standard GoPro so, so every YouTuber out there that's got these action cameras. I'm sorry to have to disappoint you, but this one just cost me £31 compared to a, a £260 GoPro, which this has got a lot more stuff cram packed into it for a lot less money. So in my eyes, this is better, and this is 4K revolution. I've not tried it out yet, but with it being a 4K camera, I'm presuming that it's going to be pretty decent. So I haven't done some tests yet, but when I will do some tests, uh, I'll give me a verdict. But at the moment in time, it's got an LCD part at the front, so it tells you your battery symbol, so it tells you what your battery is. Also tells you SD card. There's a Wi-Fi symbol at the top, so it tells you when your, your Wi-Fi is on and when your Wi-Fi is not on. It's got your video mode, and it's also got your picture mode, so you can swap between the modes. The box is plain and simple. Twin LCD screen. HD screen so and this one has even got this little gadget clever this has got a remote control so I don't have to fart about by clicking buttons on, on, on the machine to activate the camera it does it automatically so in my eyes yeah I'm to be fair I'm pretty impressed with it but when I first received it I was a bit disappointed because I thought it's only 12 megapixel but Inside the menu, inside the menu, it's got 80 megapixel, which to be fair, that's the wow factor. It's an impressive 80 megapixel camera compared to a 16 megapixel. So you're getting more for your money. And to be fair, I'm pretty impressed with the design of it overall. But, like I said, and then you get this. Look at that. Not bad, eh? You even get goodbye and welcome. So you get a nice pleasant feeling 
when you open the camera up, it's got, I don't think it's got the wow factor as such, but I must admit though, it is pretty decent. And the amount of accessories you get with it, well, yeah, you get quite a lot of stuff with it. I'm not yet, I'm not yet played about with camera yet, but I've had a bit, a little bit of play about with it, but you've got camp, camp, car, car recorder, outdoor sports, marine sports, diving and home burglary, so there's a lot, there's a lot in the box for your money. But like I said at the moment, I haven't, re I haven't really give this thing a good, I haven't yet give this a good rating yet, so I've, I've got to do that, but I'll, I'll, I'll do that at some point. If I get a nice review, I'll, uh, I'll do, I'll do a proper review on it. Once I, once I take some videos and snapshots, then I'll give this thing a good test out, and we'll, and we'll just see what the video is like on this, and see what it's like compared to a normal standard camera. But I must admit, though, I must admit, I am very, very impressed. Overall, I'm very impressed with the performance, the remote control you get, which I must admit that's that's good to have the remote control. So overall. Thumbs up, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. I think it's not a little bad machine, but I'll give it a nine. Just because, just because it's the 4K one. It's got the dual screen. What more could you possibly ask for? Anyway, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on subscribing. Got a lot of people in the subscribe. And I'll do some. And I'll do some more techie stuff. And I'll do some more stuff with cameras and whatnot and play about with them and try to get cameras out and stuff and whatever else I do best. So that's me. So anyway, I'm gonna go now. So I will I'll catch you later and I'll see you on my next new YouTube video. So bye for now. Bye!